arrests have been made as yet in connection with the two shooting incidents which took place in Colombo municipality within the past two days. Now, Colombo Municipal Councillor Krishna Pillay Kirubanandan was one of the victims killed in this shooting. Colombo Municipal Councillor Krishna Pillay Kirubanandan, known commonly as Krishna, was shot and killed down C Street in Adiwal Street around 7.45 last morning. Four CCTV cameras had captured the incident where the shooter can be seen entering Krishna Pillay Kirubanandan's shop as a customer and shooting the victim. I came around 7. At around 7.45, a person came and asked for a packet of Milo. I told the other person to get a Milo. Aya said it was 50 rupees. This person took his wallet out and left it on the counter. From his other pocket, he took a gun out and left it on the counter and shot three times. There was a motorbike out front. His face wasn't covered, nor was he wearing gloves. He spoke good Tamil as well. Krishna Pillay Kirubanandan's remains were placed at his residence in Jindupite Junction, Kochikade, this afternoon for public respects. <laughs> Krishna Pillay Kirubanandan, alias Krishna, contested the recently held local government election under the independent group Navode People's Front. <laughs> The victim has two cases against him relating to marijuana. He is currently on bail. Investigators suspect the motive behind the murder was over drug dispute. Maybe the fact that our party developed in Colombo within a short span of time was a problem for some politicians. We don't know. We did not think against anyone. There are attempts to accuse some of the members as well. If these accusations were the cause for Krishna's death, it is the duty of the police to investigate it. The police cannot get away with it just by saying that this happened because this person was a criminal. Whether or not he committed a crime should be determined at the police. The police officers cannot take that decision. The final rights of Elizabeth Pereira and her husband, Selaya Selvaraj, who were killed in the 131 Vata area in Jampara Street, Kothena, on Sunday night, are scheduled to be conducted tomorrow. A person called Ganesh had been shot close to their shop a week ago. My sister and brother-in-law run a string hopper business there. They had not seen the shooting. They were busy with their business. So they have been shot because they did not provide evidence for the shooting. On the 24th of last month, a person called Ganesh had been shot and injured. So, the couple who were killed yesterday and Ganesh's faction have had a row for a while. Investigators suspect this shooting may have been carried out over this issue.